Hey guys, Anthony Pietrabona here back with another video. And in today's video, we're going to talk about the trades I made, focused more on the weed sector. So we're seeing momentum shift from EV and crypto a little more into the weed stocks. We saw SNDL rip like crazy last night, up 30%. I managed to get a scalp in and get out for a 720 US gain this morning in pre-market. And I shifted the capital into Tilray and ACB, which is Aurora Cannabis. So we're going to look at those trades in a moment. If you're looking to build your wealth in the stock market, you're going to want to subscribe. If you find some value at the end of the video, please give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And let's dive into the charts. Here are my trade notes from pre-market this morning. I did make a lot of trades pre-market. We're seeing marijuana stocks run now. SNDL had great earnings and pumped 30% in after hours. I took a trade last night in after hours and then took profit this morning. Bought 10K shares at 87 cents and then sold it for 94 cents for a $720 profit. This morning in pre-market, I bought 500 shares of Tilray at $12.28. And then I added to my position this morning on a dip. Now I have a total of 1,000 shares. Around average cost phase is of $12. Pre-market, I bought 2,000 shares of BFRI. This is a biotech company. I closed up the position, got stopped out for a $321 loss. We can ignore that one. I also bought 1,000 shares of Aurora Cannabis at $7.71, and then I averaged up just below $8 this morning near the open and got to a total position of 12,000 shares with a 790 average. So we have 94K USD in ACB. Looking for the run to just below $9 to take profit in the coming days or week with a 5 to 10% stop loss on all these trades already set. So these are the three to look at. So SNDL, Tilray, and Aurora Cannabis. We want to look for momentum to continue on these. And let's take a look at the chart for all of them now. This is Aurora Cannabis on the daily chart. Look at the RSI here. We're just hitting 67, getting close to that 70 level for an explosion. If you take a look, we actually broke the resistance here, uh, sitting at about 770, 780, went to a high of 818, and then pulled back. That's when I added to my position. I don't add to losers. That is a strategy to blow up. When I place a trade, I have a set 5 to 10% stop loss on it and I'll add to positions if they rise and then pull back and stabilize. That's a good time for me to potentially add if I still have conviction in the trade. So what I'm looking at is more resistance at this 870 level, but the real resistance isn't until we get to that $10 level. You know, we could run up to that $10 level, but I would be looking to take profit before the $9 level just to be safe. And this is looking like a potential beginning of a run. The RSI here is at a high in the last six months almost. SNDL is what started this whole trade. Yesterday, we had crazy earnings. RSI went straight to the moon. I expected a pullback. I luckily took profits in pre-market and it sold off all the way to 81 cents. So I'm glad I took profits there. And with those profits, typically what happens is when a leader of an industry is going to the moon, the other companies tend to rise later on. So the chart is looking really good for ACB and Tilray. The money from SNDL could flow from SNDL to ACB and Tilray. Looking at the chart for Tilray, this is also a good chart, but we're looking at a, a supply level here of about 1360, 1370. So we could get, we could be hitting heavy resistance around the 1360 level. My average cost pace is around $12. Again, we're seeing the RSI creeping up. If we can get above that 70 level, we could see an explosion to who knows where around the 20 to $22 level with all honesty. Same thing goes for ACB. If we can get above that 72 level, and continue to hold. Again, we could see an easy explosion towards the tens. We can't count out SNDL because this could still be a great buy on this pullback because the RSI is really high. So you could be buying at 82 cents. It could run back to a dollar plus, now, honestly hitting a high of about a dollar 40. These are all relatively small market caps. SNDL is 468 million, or cannabis is 1.5 billion, and Tilray is 5.7 billion. Tilray right now and Aurora Cannabis are my favorite charts at the moment. I'm liking the strength more on the RSI on Aurora Cannabis, so that's why I have a heavier position in Aurora Cannabis. We have the volume pickup as well. So as you see, just a bleed, you know, down, down, down. Volume picking up with some selling, then volume picking up on the rally. Volume is dying off here around the beginning of October as you see about a top formation. We trade sideways with decreasing volume and then heavier volume as we sell. Then there's no more volume. So when you see a sell off and lower volume while the stock moves sideways, it's highly likely that on an increase in volume, we can see a rise up. So we saw this here, this increase in volume, and then basically a stabilization in higher volume. Now, if the volume starts to die off in the coming days and the RSI starts going back down, 
you know, it's likely that it's going to take a lot longer for this trade to develop and we are too early. Remember, that's always a risk. You can always be too early in a trade. You might have to keep tight stop losses so that we don't stay in a trade that moves sideways or just continues to trend down for who knows how long. The last trade is on Riot. I got back in Riot today in the $39 per share level because we are seeing the RSI stay above 70 and I like to see that. We see the stochastic flatlining. The only risk here is we see the stochastic actually dropping off and we see a little bit of a topping formation on the MACD. This could be indicating a downtrend, but if we continue to see inside candles and trade sideways with decreasing volume, I would feel much more confident if we also have the RSI flatline that we could see another leg up towards the $44, $45 level. This is why I also have 2,000 shares of Riot. I bought in pre-market about 1,000 shares at $39.50, and then I bought more on the sell-off in the high 38s for an average cost of 39.30. Remember a few days ago, we took profits at the 41, 42 dollar level. We basically took profits in the bottom lower because we think that there's still strength in Riot and, we li and I'm, we're also banking on the fact that Bitcoin likes to run over the weekends. Bitcoin has been just continuously selling off now and with it continuously selling off, we haven't seen the miners take a huge hit. So because of that, I think that on any bounces or upswings in Bitcoin, we could see another leg up in the miners. An inside candle is when each day the stock trades sideways and the range is decreasing. As you can see, there's a big range November 9th. The next day, a little bit of a smaller range, but still a big range. Then we see November 11th and November 12th, extremely small range with a huge drop off on volume. This sets up for an explosive move to the upside with a pickup in volume. This is what I'm liking to see. So I have faith in Riot, I have faith in Aurora Cannabis, and I have faith in Tilray over the next two to five days. In total, we have about $200,000 of capital in these trades. We're still seeing Tesla stock have a, a continued sell-off because Elon Musk is selling shares every single day. So who's gonna buy Tesla stock when the CEO is gonna continue to dump a billion dollars worth of shares every single day for the next one to two weeks? Everyone wants to wait for all the selling to be done to buy back in. It's not that people think it's overvalued, it's that why be in a stock when you know that the, the CEO is gonna continue to sell every single day for the next one to two weeks. So that's why we're gonna to continue to see Tesla stock go down and down and down for the next one to two weeks. And then we could see a nice pop back up to 1100 maybe coming in the next few weeks. That's gonna conclude the video. Thanks so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate it and let me know in the comments down below what trades you're in, what you see on your end. I really appreciate you watching. Subscribe for more videos just like this and I'll see you in the next one.